Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Excel is a spreadsheet program that allows you to store, organize, and analyze information. Now let's look at the Excel interface, but before that we need to open the Excel program. So go to your search bar and type Excel. Then click on it to open. Now when you open Excel for the first time, the Excel start screen will appear. And from here you'll be able to create a new workbook. Choose a template and access your recently edited workbooks. Now from here, let's locate and select the blank workbook to access the Excel interface. Now this is the Excel interface. Now let's look at some of its features. We have the ribbon over here. This is the ribbon. So the ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. We have page layouts insert tab home tab and each has their own group of commands we have the font group alignment group number group and so on in some groups we'll have an arrow that you can click for more options like this one if you click it you get more options now you can choose to minimize the ribbon if you find that it takes up too much screen space just click the ribbon display options arrow over here then choose from this option so the first one we have is auto hide ribbon you select that auto hide displays your workbook in full screen mode and completely hides the ribbon now to show the ribbon click the expand ribbon command and the ribbon will come back right up then the second command here we have is show tabs now this option hides all command groups when they are not in use but the tabs will remain visible. To show the ribbon, simply click on any tab and the ribbon comes back right up. Then lastly, we have the show tabs and commands. Now, this option maximizes the ribbon and all of the tabs and commands will be visible. And this is the option that is selected by default when you open Excel for the first time. Then let's go to the quick access toolbar. Now this is the quick access toolbar and it lets you access common commands no matter which tab is selected. By default, it includes the save, undo and redo commands, but you can add other commands depending on your preference. To add commands to the quick access toolbar, just click the drop down arrow and then choose from this list which other command you want to add. So I can add quick print command and it will be added to your quick access toolbar. Then we have the tell me what you want to do. So this is the tell me fee, the tell me feature. Now the tell me box works like a search bar to help you quickly find tools or commands you want to use. Just type in what you want to find. So inside chart then it will bring you some options and then you can select those commands from over here without having to go to look for them in the ribbon then we have worksheet views this three over here now excel has a variety of viewing options that change how your workbook is displayed by default we have the normal view which is the default view of all worksheets in excel then we have the page layout view. Now this displays how your worksheets will appear when printed. And you can also add headers and footers in this view. Then we have the page breaker view. Now this allows you to change the location of page breaks, which is especially helpful when printing a lot of data from Excel. Now let's go back to normal view. Then we have the backstage view. To access backstage view, just click on file tab and then you'll have gone to the backstage view. Now, backstage view gives you various options for saving, opening a file, we have printing, exporting. We have lots of options from here that you can access in the backstage view. And now you're familiar with the interface of Excel. Now you're ready to make your first spreadsheet.